Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking Yam Ring with Chicken and Seafood Stir Fry. So let's start cooking. Now we'll start by steaming the yam first. Make sure that your water is boiling. I have with me over here 300 grams of yam that I've sliced quite thinly. We'll steam this for 20 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. 20 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Now we need to check whether the yam is done already or not. Using a chopstick, just poke it through. If it goes through easily like this, that means it's done. And now we we'll proceed to mash our yam. But please drain off the excess water before we continue with the next step. This is the steam yam and I'm going to mash it up. But before that, I'll be adding in some seasoning. We we'll need one teaspoon of five spice powder. Just spread them in. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of sugar. A few dashes of white pepper. And we'll mash this all up. I'm using a potato masher for this. Mash them all up nicely. So once this is done, we'll prepare the wheat starch. I have with me over here 60 grams of wheat flour or dim sum flour as they call it. I'm going to add in 90 milliliters of water, hot water into this. Stir as you pour it in. Stir them and make sure that you mix them up well together. And we'll add this into the yam paste. We'll now add the wheat starch to the yam paste. Okay, just put everything in. We'll now add in 30 grams of lard. You can use margarine, butter, vegetable shortening, no problem at all. So just put them in. And also I'll be adding in half a teaspoon of baking powder. So now we just need to mix them up together. This dish you can easily impress your friends because normally you can only have this at either Zicha store or restaurants outside. But it's not that difficult to make. A little bit complicated or a little bit more step, but this will be really good. The lard will start to melt and that's what you want. Once you have mixed this up well, I'll show you the next step. Once you have mixed it up well like this, we will wrap it up with clean wrap. Now just wrap it up. Doesn't matter what shape it is, just make sure that it's fully covered. And we'll leave this in the freezer for one hour to semi-solidify it so that it's easier for us to handle. I'll see you back in a while. Now we are going to shape our yam paste into a ring. Using a tray or your chopping board, dust it with a little bit of wheat flour or flour, no problem at all so that it won't stick that easily. Place the yam paste on the board. All you have to do is just push your thumb right in the middle here and on the other side too. And then slowly, using your fingers, push it outwards. Just press it and push it outwards. Very simple. If it starts to stick on your finger, just sprinkle a little bit more flour, no problem. And do the same again. Just try to make sure that the thickness is the same. So something like this will be nice. We'll heat up our oil and we'll fry this as well as our vermicelli. Now we're going to deep fry the yam ring. But before that, we'll deep fry some vermicelli for garnishing first. Heat up a pot of oil over medium heat. We need to test whether the oil is hot enough or not. Using a bamboo skewer, put it in. If you see bubbles rising up like this, that means the oil should be hot enough. So now we'll proceed to fry our vermicelli first. Put your vermicelli in. This vermicelli is approximately 35 grams. Immediately, take it out. Turn off the heat now. Heat up your oil immediately over medium heat. Put your yam ring on the strainer like this. The reason why I'm doing so is if you were to directly put the yam ring onto the pan, it will burn very easily. So this is what we are going to do. Just Slowly put this in, scoop some oil and bathe the yam ring. We need to brown this and we need the shape to stabilize. We need this yam ring to harden a little bit so that when we flip it over or fry it by the side, it will not collapse. Now, as you can see, the color is a very light golden brown now. We'll just scoop a little bit more oil over it so that the color can be a little bit darker. It's about done now. We'll remove this from oil. 
and set this aside. Now we'll cook the rest of the ingredients to be put into the yam rim. Heat up a pan, add in a little bit of oil, two cloves of garlic chopped, 20 grams of carrot, sliced thinly like this, put it in. Add in 125 milliliters of water, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, half a teaspoon of sugar, dashes of white pepper. Give this a stir. We're adding the rest of our ingredients now. 100 grams of chicken, sliced thinly like this, put it in. 120 grams of dishel and deveined prawns, spread them out. Six pieces of scallops, approximately 80 grams, put them in. This will give the gravy a lot of flavor. You add in also three young corn, cut into half, put them in. A few pieces of sweet peas or snow peas, really up to you. Just spread them out, put the cover on, and let this cook for approximately two minutes. Two minutes is up, let's have a look. Wow, smells really, really great. Let's just stir this around a little bit and give this a taste. We have to make sure that it's savory enough for us. Wow, fantastic, really, really good. Final touch, thicken the sauce up with cornstarch solution. Stir as you pour the cornstarch in. Now we'll turn the heat up high reduce the sauce a little and make sure that the chicken, the scallops are all coated in this beautiful sauce. Add in one teaspoon of sesame oil and one tablespoon of shao xing jiu or Chinese cooking wine. Time to serve this dish. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. I'll try the yam first. Mm. Very fragrant, with a hint of five spice powder, very good. And the crust is a little bit crispy, something that I like. Scallops, very sweet. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Mm. Very crunchy, very nice.